just woke up about an hour ago at the time of me recording this video. I go to look at my phone, because that's the first thing I do when I wake up, and all I can see on my phone, the only thing I could see on my phone is announcement, 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 announcement. It just plastered all over. Announcement, 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 announcement. All over my phone of this. <sighs> Here we go again. Let's get to the intro. Edrunner Gaming HD and welcome to another discussion video here on the channel and unfortunately this discussion video has to be about a topic like this of course a fucking course that has to be about something like this I just had to come on and talk about this because if I don't talk about it I I'm gonna be I'm going to be literally thinking about this all damn day if I don't come on and talk about it. So I might as well just come on and talk about it. I was planning on doing a discussion video, by the way, about Terry Funk and my thoughts of his legacy in professional wrestling, offering my condolences for his family and loved ones. I was planning on doing a discussion video about Terry Funk. Now, I have to put that on hold because of this. I just knew this was going to happen. I just fucking knew this was going to happen. The second they announced that these two were going on break and they wouldn't announce exactly what the break was about, they wouldn't clarify anything for us, they wouldn't tell us anything, the other Hollow Star boys wouldn't tell us anything, Hollow Life Talent wouldn't tell us anything. The mere second that they announced that these two were going on break and how long they've been on break, I just fucking knew that all signs point to a graduation or worse a termination but this time around it's a graduation Magni Desmond and Nora Vesper two of the biggest talents in all of Hollow Stars are both leaving the company at the same time effective August 31st I know that the Hollow Live subreddits have pretty much gone on lockdown. I'm pretty damn sure they've gone on lockdown. They usually do whenever a sad announcement like this happens because they don't want people freaking spamming the Reddit, you know, blah, 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 blah. The Discord servers that I'm in, they made an announcement regarding it and they said that they're not going to allow discussion of it in their Discord servers, so you're not even allowed to talk about it. Which, again, I'm not surprised because they did this the last time a Hollow Life talent got graduated or terminated. They did the exact same thing for Ruscio when she got terminated. They did the exact same thing for the other Hollow Star JP boys when they graduated about, what, two years ago? Damn, has it really been that long? I think it's been like two years since the last Hollow Star talent graduated from the company. It's been a long, long while. But that graduation was due to health reasons. This graduation is... 
This is not health reasons at all. It can't be health reasons. I think this graduation has much, 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 much more to do than just simple health reasons. I think this graduation... I'll, I'll talk about what I think led to these two graduating here in a little bit. But... I knew the Discord servers were not going to allow talk of this. They're not going to allow anybody to talk about this without getting fucking warned or banned from the Discord servers. The subreddits, they're allowing a little bit of talking about it, but not too much. They're not allowing anybody to go into speculation or, you know, talk about, you know, rumors, blah, 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 blah. They may not allow it over there, but I'm going to talk about it here. I don't give a fuck. I'm sorry. Um... If you don't like what I'm about to say here in this video, all I'm going to tell you is politely click off the video. And if you don't want to click off and you still watch and you get offended by what I'm about to say, then boo fuckity who. I don't care about you or your feelings. I warned you. That's all I'm going to say. I fucking warned you. You didn't take the warning. So that's on you. That ain't on me. I'm not surprised that this happened. I really am not. I knew deep down it was going to happen. I just knew it was a matter of time before Hall Alive pulls the life support plug on these two, announces their graduation, tries to sweep it under the rug like they didn't exist, and tries to go on their merry ways. I, I'm really not surprised. The second they announced that these two were going on a break, not a suspension, but a break, and how long they've been on break for, and not clarifying exactly why they're going on break. Like, most of the time when a talent goes on break, they, they announce it and say, oh, they're going on break because of health issues. Oh, they're going on break because of family issues. They're going on break because of a death in the family or a death of a loved one, blah, 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 blah. They usually announce it. But when they announced that Magni and Nor were both going on break at the same time, and they wouldn't clarify why they were going on break, the first thing that went through my head is contract negotiations which obviously Hall Alive is not going to talk about they're not going to discuss that with the fan base but I just had to know it had to be about contract negotiations because the timing was so coincidental they announced this right before the contract negotiation time the time period for contract negotiations they announced this literally at the exact same time so when they announced it, I thought I thought it in my head, yep, Magni and Noor probably went over their contracts with Hollow Live and Hollow Stars EN. They probably didn't like the terms that were on the contract. They probably wanted more royalties, aka more money and more freedom to basically do whatever the hell they want. I'm assuming management most likely told them fuck off. No, we're we're not giving you more money. We're not giving you more money than the other boys are making, and we're especially not giving you the money the girls make, because you don't make the amount of money, you don't have the amount of viewers that the girls do. And they probably got all mad about it, and they basically said, well, we're not re-signing our contracts. And Hollow Lives, I'm guessing, tried their best to keep those two around, but if those two are... If those two are as stubborn as I think they are, I guess Hollow Life finally gave up and said, okay, if they want out of the company, we'll let them out. We're not going to freaking, you know, hold them at gunpoint and force them to stay in the company. If they want to leave, they can leave. We're not, we're not going to stop them. And here we are now. August 31st, Magni and Vesper are both leaving at the exact same time. I don't think there's going to be a graduation stream. All that we got is a graduation announcement. I'm assuming there's not going to be a stream. There's not going to be anything. I'm assuming both of their channels are going to be deleted. They did not clarify that they were keeping the channels up. 
there's no clarification as to the videos and content are staying up. So that's probably also going to get deleted as well, which really does suck. Literally a year's work of talent from both of these two is going to be completely erased. Just like that. Gone forever. The only way you're going to be able to watch Magni and Noor from Hololive is via clips or if somebody archives their streams onto another website. Which... You don't even know how long the servers on those websites are going to last. They don't last forever. So once those servers go down, we're fucked. If they take the channels down. I hope they leave the channels up. I'm hoping Hololive has enough respect for these two to leave their channels up. But I seriously doubt that at this point. This whole situation just absolutely fucking sucks. Especially because they announced this at the exact same time. These two are going to be graduating at the exact same time that Hololive EN Council is getting their 3D debuts. They could not pick a better time to announce this. They couldn't pick until the first or second week, midway in September or something. Or, not midway in September. They couldn't at least wait until like a few days after the EN 3D console debuts. They couldn't wait until like maybe the 3rd, 4th, or 5th day of September to come out and say, Oh yeah, we regret to inform you that Magni and Noor have pretty much not re-signed their contracts. They're pretty much leaving. They couldn't just wait. They just had to drop this out of the blue today. Now, I'm not going to be going into the Hololive EN 3D console debuts the same way that I felt before. I was ecstatic when they announced their 3D debuts. I was really looking forward to it. Now, I'll, I'll tune in. I'm going to watch because I love the hell out of console. And it would be disrespectful as hell to not tune in for their 3D debuts. Considering the love and dedication that these girls have put in for so many years. Like, that would be extremely disrespectful on me if I don't tune in and watch their 3D debuts. I mean, unless something personal in my life comes up, I'm going to be there to watch their 3D debuts. But after? I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break from Hololive and Stars. I might even just take a break from virtual YouTubing as a whole. There has been nothing... But negativity, with a little bit of positivity here and there, but mostly negativity. There has been nothing but negativity in the VTuber industry this entire summer. From Nina graduating, from... I'm going to have to say the company's name. From Nina graduating from Ninja Sanji to Mista. Mista is actually graduating on the 31st, if I remember correctly. So not only are we losing Magni and Vesper from Hololive, from Hololive's DN, we're losing one of the biggest male talents in the history of virtual YouTubing in Mista, I believe on the 31st as well. At least he gets to have a graduation stream, though. He's doing a graduation stream. He's basically doing one big goodbye. One big goodbye stream, saying goodbye. At least he gets to have a graduation stream. Magni and Vesper, most likely... They're not going to have one. And that sucks. That really does fucking suck. Nina graduating from Ninja Sanji. Uh, Mista graduating from Ninja Sanji. And now, and now this. Now this. On top of all the other graduations in the VTuber industry that happen, you know, indie talents, talents from other companies, this has been a really bad fucking summer for virtual YouTuber graduations. Really bad summer. I'll be so fucking glad when fall gets here. I'll be so glad when the fall gets here, when the contract negotiation period is officially over and we can all look forward to the fall and winter of this year. I, I just want, 
I, I want October to get here because October is really going to be the start of fall. Fuck September. I just want October to get here. Just so we can get the hell away from all of this that's going on. It's like every time something positive happens, there's always got to be a negative. There's a positive, and then there's a negative. It's got to balance each other. It's like a freaking seesaw. It's, it has to, you know, balance. Well, that, that's a bad, that's a bad metaphor. Um, it's kind of like one of those, uh, science pendulums you should know exactly what I'm talking about where you put two things on both sides and make them weigh the same and they just stay in the middle one side not heavier than the other one side not lighter than the other they're both of the same weight so they're basically stuck in the middle that's basically what this feels like right now there's positivity and then there's negativity You just fucking had the third generation of Hololive EN girls debut just a few weeks ago. Thank God you did not announce this when those girls debuted. Because that would have destroyed their debuts. Their reputation, well, God, I can't even freaking talk. The hype going into their debuts would have been destroyed because yes while it would be cool that we're getting more en girls at the same time we're losing two of the biggest hollow star en talents only for them to come out and do this literally at the exact same timing as council getting their 3d debuts I was going to bring up Council getting their 3D debuts in a future Let's Play. I was going to bring it up at the very beginning of a Let's Play video, talk about it a little bit. I figured I might as well just talk about it here. I'll tune in for them, but I'm not going to have the same type of feeling for them that I had before. And it's all because of this. What are my thoughts overall with Bagney and Vesper as talents? Really talented individuals. It sucks that both of them are going to be gone. But, like I said, I expected this to happen. Vesper always came off to me as a guy who clearly has some anger issues when it comes to management. I mean, this is the same guy that got himself suspended for over an entire month. Back in what? November? I think it was November he got himself suspended for over a month for having a fight with management. And when he came back, obviously he couldn't, you know, really talk about it. All he said is that he had a fight with management, they got into a little bit of a verbal fight, and he got suspended. That right away told me, oh yeah, this dude's got some fucking anger issues. I mean, I got anger issues too, but... I mean... If I was if I was in Hololive, if I was in Holostar at the end, I would try to, you know, not piss off management to get myself suspended. Because, in my opinion, I got the freaking golden ticket... It's like Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. You got the golden ticket to the Chocolate Factory. Don't do anything to the golden ticket. Don't tarnish the golden ticket. Don't tear the golden ticket. Don't rip the golden ticket. Don't wipe your ass with the golden ticket. And it feels like to me that Nor basically took the golden ticket, went into Hall Alive, and just, I guess you could say, tarnished it. Magni, he's best friends with Noor IRL outside of the company. He's best friends with Noor. 
And I did get spoiled on who his roommate is. I know who Magni Desmond's roommate is. I'm not going to say who out of respect. And also because that would be doxing, which I'm not going to do here. All I'm going to say is I know who his roommate is. And when I saw his roommate uploading on his channel during this break, that was a clear dead giveaway to me that, yep, is contract negotiations with Hollow Life. Because if it wasn't contract negotiations, if it was health reasons or security reasons like people were assuming, they would not be uploading, or Magni, excuse me, would not be uploading on his roommate channel. So that was a dead giveaway to me that it was most likely contract negotiations. And sure enough, here we are, and both of them are gone. Magni... Unless he got stealth suspended, I don't, I don't think he had anger issues as bad as Nor. I'm just assuming that he basically has like the same mindset as Nor when it came to the contract. He didn't like what he was getting on the contract negotiation. He wanted more. Management told him no. And so he said, well, see ya. And now he's leaving too. He has a successful roommate channel, so I'm I'm assuming he's gonna go back over there like he has been and probably start uploading a lot more over there. I wish him the best of luck. That's literally the nice thing I can say at this point. I wish Magni on his roommate channel the best of luck. Best of luck in your future endeavors. I'm pretty sure he'll probably never be in the VTuber industry ever again, considering that his roommate is not a VTuber, and he does significantly well on it. I'm pretty sure he's done with virtual YouTubing. Nor, if I had to take a guess, he'll probably go back to his roommate channel. He'll probably go back to his old VTuber persona. Again, I'm not going to say who out of respect, and also because I don't want to dox them. Like, I'm, I'm kind of sort of doxing them here, but I'm not fully doxing them. I have enough respect not to do that. I know who they are. Well, their old ch channels or their other channels. I know who they are. But I'm assuming Magni... Or Magni's going to probably go back to his roommate channel, of course. Vesper, I think, will go back to his other VTuber persona... Then again, he might just disappear from the VTuber industry. He might be done with it. He might be like, fuck this shit. I don't want nothing to do with virtual YouTubers anymore. That's his decision. Vesper struck me as the type of guy who could not adapt to corporate life. He is the same guy. This is the same guy, mind you, that on his roommate quit one of his previous jobs because of a fight with management. So when I heard that, he struck me as the type of guy that probably is not going to get, get along well with Hololite management, especially Japanese management. And I also believe that's also another one of the reasons why he's leaving the company. It's not just contract negotiations. I just personally believe he doesn't like the management. He doesn't like the rules over there. He doesn't like Japanese-style management. He doesn't like corporate management, period. So he probably just said, screw it, I don't want to put up with this anymore, and now he's leaving. <sighs> this whole situation sucks. This whole damn situation sucks. Because I really liked Nor. I really liked Maggie as talents. When they streamed and did stuff... They were very entertaining, especially Nora when he would talk about stories about his, you know, IRL life and things that happened to him. You know, one time he went out to a bar in the middle of a hurricane. And there was a freaking hurricane going on outside, and this dude just goes to a bar to have a fucking pint of beer <laughs> while a damn hurricane's going on outside. Uh, the stories about him being stabbed. 
especially the one where he got stabbed while he was sleeping and didn't even feel himself getting stabbed until he woke up the next morning and there was like a puddle of blood in his bed. Like, he had some really freaky things happen to him in his life. And it was always interesting to hear all these stories about him and his life. Especially the motivational stories, like how there would be times where he would be feeling down and depressed and how he always found the strength to pull himself back up from depression and just keep on striving, keep on moving, keep on, you know, taking another step forward. Like he he could make some really motivational speeches at times. You know, really try to cheer people up when they were feeling down. So it sucks that we're losing him. Magni, Magni was always a really funny guy. He was very funny, you know, with the Mag Lord stuff. Magmo. I'm going to freaking miss Magmo. It, it's basically like an evil Elmo. Uh, an evil Elmo creation that he did. I'm going to miss that because that stuff was actually pretty funny. And the worst part about it, like I said earlier, all these videos of everything that they did are probably going to be deleted. I don't know if they're going to. I hope not. But most likely they're probably going to get deleted. Hall Live did not clarify that they're keeping the channels up. So they're probably going to be gone. Supposedly, Axel did a stream this morning with all of Holostar EN. It was about a 10-minute long stream. I have not had the time to go and watch it. I'm pretty sure it was them talking about Magni and Vesper and them leaving. And now Tempest is down to a group of six people. Now it's going to be Shinri, Betel, Fleon... Axel, Regis, Haka. Okay, let, let me let me redo this again. Make sure I, I'm not missing anyone. I'm gonna start off with the first wave. Regis, Axel, Fleon, Haka, Battle, and yeah, I was right. That's it. That's all we have in Hollowstar EN now. From 8 down to 6. And I don't mean this as a disrespect to the other Hollowstar EN boys, but the only one that's left in Hollowstar EN that had the same amount of viewership as Magni and Vesper, or at least came very close, is Gavis Battle. He's perhaps the only one that's left that can get close to the viewership that those two would get. And that's because Betel's a very entertaining guy. I I love Betel as a talent. The dude is very funny. Like, he plays the jester role to perfection. His August 19th stream that happened last week, where he was basically, you know, doing a stream that was centered around a super chat. Somebody sent him a super chat a long time ago. And he basically took it like a Death Note type of super chat because it said August 19th, 2023, 7.43 p.m. R.I.P. And he took it as a joke and decided to make a full stream of it where he was basically acting like he was going to die when 7.43 hit. Only for him to come out and announce merchandise and then a cover of Dead Man Wonderland, the opening for Dead Man Wonderland, which that opening was fucking badass, by the way. I'll put a link down below in the description for you to go check that out. He did a fantastic job singing the uh, a cover of that. Fantastic job. I'm glad that he's staying around. I'm glad all the other boys are staying around. It just sucks that fr they're going from the number 8 down to the number 6. This absolutely sucks. And before I end this discussion video, there's one more thing I want to talk about.
and this is probably going to be the most controversial take I have this whole video. This illusion that Hololive is one big happy family, that everybody talks to each other, that everyone loves and respects each other, that everyone hangs out with each other, that's all it is. It's an illusion. It's a myth. It's fake. It's not true. It's not real. I saw the clip of Takanashi Kiara earlier this morning on her stream talking about Magni and Noor graduating from Hololive. And her attitude about the whole situation, like, oh, you know, yeah, it sucks that they're both leaving. I never really had anything to do with them. <laughs> like, just her whole attitude about it just struck me as, wow, you really did not care about Holostar EN at all. I guarantee you the only interaction Kiara ever had with Holostar EN was one, their debuts, because everybody had to stop what they were doing when the boys debuted, and two, when Nor rated her that one time a few months ago. I guarantee to you that's been the only interaction Kiara ever had with Holostar EN. The only interaction. You got Crony, Bay, and Mame, or not Mame, uh, well, Mame had that one collab with them. She did one collab with them back in the day, and that was it. Crony, Bay, and Callie are the three talents, the three EN girls who did the most interactions with Holostar as EN. None of the other girls ever really interacted with Holostar as EN, or they didn't interact with them at all. Ame talked about them a few times. Gura never brought them up. Fauna, I think she brought them up like one time and that was it. Mame, of course, there was that one collaboration she did, and that was it. Um, Ina never had anything to do with them. She never even talked about them. Well, she'll probably talk about them now, because I'm pretty sure people are going to go on her stream and start asking her her thoughts of the whole situation, and it'll probably be the first and only time she ever talks about it. Or she might not talk about it, period. Who knows? But what I do know from this situation is that this pretty much 100% proves to me that Hololive is not the big happy family that they try to portray themselves to be. They don't all talk to each other. They probably don't even all get along with each other. The illusion is dead. This whole rumor that Hololive's the big happy family, it's dead. We can put that officially to rest. Because no, they're not a big happy family. If they were a big happy family, the EN girls would be collabing with the EN boys a lot more than they have been. The EN girls, every single one of them, would have at least reached out to the Holostar EN boys or Holostar JP boys and interacted with them. Outside of a few of the EN girls, basically the entire branch has had nothing to do with Holostar as EN. Outside of three people in Hololive EN. Three people. Everyone else has had no interaction with Hololive stars at all. JP or EN. I fucking hate this idea in idol culture where girls are not supposed to interact with guys. I fucking hate that idea. I've always hated it and I will always hate it. I'm assuming that Kiara and the other girls abide by, they abide by that idea in idol culture. I'm trying to say this the best way possible. They abide by the idea in idol culture 
that girls are not to be seen interacting with guys. With Kiara, it's a little bit more personal because something happened in her personal life involving a guy. I'm not going to talk about it here because that would be extremely disrespectful. But all I'm going to say is something happened. And I'm assuming because of that incident, she doesn't like men, period. And this sucks. This absolutely sucks because it makes Kiara look like an asshole. From what, from what I saw, it makes her look like an asshole. And the entire comment section on that video, every single person in that comment section is either calling Kiara out or they're very disappointed in Kiara. Me, personally, I'm disappointed in Kiara. I don't hate Kiara. I love Kiara as a talent and as a person. But she does, she does have her flaws. She is not a perfect human being. She's not perfect. She has her flaws. And this is definitely one of her biggest flaws. Her lack of respect for hollow stars. For men, basically. Her lack of respect for them. It is just so heartbreaking. And it's not just her. It's the rest of... Uh, it's the rest of Hollow Live EN outside of outside of Crony, Bay, and Mori. All of Hollow Live EN, they basically have nothing to do with Hollow Stars at all. Gura has never even interacted with Hollow Stars. JP or EN. She's never interacted with them at all. You got JP girls, the Hollow Live Japanese girls. A majority of them have had nothing to do with Hollow Stars, EN or JP. And it's because they abide by this freaking idea in idol culture that girls are not supposed to interact with guys. And also because they're afraid their fan base will revolt against them and turn on them if they're even seen talking to a dude for like five seconds. I mean, this is the same fan base. This is the same JP fan base, mind you. Remember when Toa was playing Apex Legends and she had a male voice come on stream? She was AFK. I think she had to go to the bathroom or something. And she accidentally left the microphone on in the Apex Legend lobby. And some dudes come on and start talking to Toa. And she comes back and her chat starts screaming, man, 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 man. And she's freaks out and ends the stream. And then afterwards, she ended up taking a break. I believe she ended up taking a break. She might have actually got suspended. I, I can't remember off the top of my head if she took a break, if she took a break for herself, or if she got suspended. If she got suspended, that was really fucking stupid. Suspend a talent because they have a male voice in their stream. If they actually suspended her for that, that's got to be one of the most bullshit ways to suspend a talent that I've ever heard. Oh, because a man's voice was heard during a multiplayer lobby game of Apex Legends. I can't remember if she took a break or if she was suspended. I, I can't remember off the top of my head. This happened three years ago. Then, of course, I mean, who can forget the Rusia situation from last year? I mean, good lord. She was playing a game of Grand Theft Auto V with Miko. Mafu Mafu ended up randomly messaging her, and it popped up on stream. And all of a sudden, it's like the fucking hell gates open. Everybody just starts going after Rusia. Ooh, I to to it, man. Ooh. It, it was absolute insanity and unfortunately it led to her termination even though she basically did it to herself in order to get herself terminated she's the one that basically went to all the freaking drama tubers and blah 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 I, I'd rather not discuss it anymore here on the channel I talked about it one time I don't want to talk about it again
the illusion is dead. The illusion that Hollow Live is one big happy family is dead. If the JP girls, if a majority of the JP girls want nothing to do with Hollow Stars, if they don't want nothing to do with men, if a majority of the Hollow Live EN girls don't want nothing to do with men or Hollow Stars, how can it be one big happy family? How can everyone coexist together? How can everyone get along together? How can everyone love each other the same way if they don't even interact with each other? If they're not allowed to interact with each other? If they can't be seen interacting with each other without the fear of their fan base turning on them? I hate to say it, Ninja Sanji is more of a family than Hollow Live right now. You got EN talents over there, both male and female, that interact with each other so well, that love and care about each other so much, they have their own private Discord server away from the main company, from the company's own Discord server. These talents have their own Discord server outside the company where they interact with each other via their company accounts and their roommate accounts. That's how well they respect and love each other. Even to the point where you've had EN male talent go to EN girl talent's houses. You've had off collabs with male talent and female talent. How many times has Anna done an off collab with Kayo? They've off collabed and collaborated so many times that people ship them as a couple. And at first they tried to blow it off and tell people stop shipping us as a couple to where now I really am starting to wonder if they actually have thought about maybe actually really becoming a couple. They interact with each other so much. They, they interact with each other so much and do so much together that you could actually say maybe they really could be a couple if they choose to be, if they want it to be. And if they wanted to be a couple and if people got mad about it, boo fucking who? Get the fuck over it. If they care about each other, if they love each other and they take care of each other and don't, you know, abuse each other, and they get along well, who gives a shit? If you get mad about them being together, who gives a fuck? Get the fuck over it. Now, me personally, I don't like some of Etta's stuff as a VTuber. I don't like some of the things that she said as a VTuber in Ninja Sanji. And Kyle's also done some things that I'm not really let, let's let's not even talk about it here this isn't a, this is not supposed to be a video about Ninja Sanji I don't want to talk about that fucking company I've already stated I don't want to talk about them ever again and yet I'm talking about them yet again I don't want to talk about them anymore there's talents there that I like there's talents there that I don't like I don't like the management of that company I don't like the company itself. That's all I'm going to say. But at the same time, what I will give them credit for is they act more of a family than even Hollow Life does. They don't abide by this ideology that, oh, I can't be seen interacting with the girl. Oh, I can't be seen interacting with the guy because my fan base will attack me because I'm not pure. I'm basically, I hate having to say this. If I'm a girl and I'm seen talking to a guy, people are going to assume that I'm a whore. If I'm a guy and I'm talking to a girl, people are going to assume that I'm a pimp or something. I fucking hate that. I, I fucking hate that logic. Why can we not 
live in a world where EN talents, male and female, can coexist and get along together perfectly fine. Why can we not live in a world like that? I wish Hololive EN talent would collab with Holostar JP talent and Holostar EN talent. All of them. Not just Mori, not just Crony, not just Bay. I wish all of them could get along and talk to each other and collaborate with each other. But unfortunately, unless things dramatically change, that's not going to happen. In closing this discussion video, I wish Magni and Nora the best in their future endeavors. Maggie's probably going to go back to his roommate channel. Vesper, he'll probably go back either to his old VTuber persona, or he might just disappear completely. We might not ever see him ever again. I've already stated why I think they left. I'm willing to assume that it was contract negotiations. I, I can't think of anything else as to them leaving together at the same time. I can't think of anything else that would cause these two to leave. If it was a, if it was a termination, if they've been fired, Hollow Live would come out and announce that it's a termination. And then the rumor mill would really start going crazy. It's not a termination though. This is a graduation. So the only thing that makes logical sense is that they had very bad contract negotiation. They didn't re-sign the contract, therefore they're leaving. You two are given the golden ticket to the chocolate factory. And a year later, you're throwing the golden ticket away. You don't want the golden ticket no more. You don't want to be in the chocolate factory no more. Congratulations. You won the golden ticket. You're in the chocolate factory. And you were given the chocolate factory. Like Char like Charlie from uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. But instead of wanting to be in the chocolate factory, you said, nah, I don't want to be involved with the chocolate factory no more. I want out. And now both of you are gone. It's a sad shame. It really is. Thanks for watching, everyone. Edge Runner Gaming HD signing out. Peace. Stay safe. Have a great rest of the day. I know my day is... The rest of my day today is not going to be a very happy day. I still have a Red Dead Redemption 2 video I need to upload that I recorded about a day or two ago. I had planned to do a discussion video about Terry Funk. I'll probably still do that, but it'll be much later on in the day when I do. I'm going to take a break from Hall Live. I'll tune in for the 3D console debuts, and then after that, I'm probably going to take like a one or two week break from Hall Live, probably from VTubing stuff in general. And probably just start uploading a lot more here on my channel. There's going to be a lot more stuff uploaded on my channel. I need to start uploading a lot more Giantess stuff. I need to start uploading uh, multiplayer stuff. I really need to get to Forza. Because I promised that I would be bringing Forza to the channel. And I have not done that yet. So I need to get to that. And of course, you know, Let's Plays are going to continue here on the channel. I really need to get back to Gears of War. I'm hurt today. As a Hollow Live fan, as a virtual YouTuber fan, I'm fucking hurt today. In more ways than one. See you next time, everyone. Bye. They will find through the flames, flames that run. Trying so hard to be free To make you see what I see oh.
I'm a strong.